quickly, um, there was this. <laughs> there's a story. Um, uh, a story. Uh, uh, when when was this article published? I'm just looking at to see when this article was published. Uh, June sixth. Uh, June sixth. The uh, Federalist. The Federalist is a uh, publication. Used to be before Donald Trump got elected, like a lot of things, it used to be pretty good before Donald Trump got elected. But it has become a, uh, a, a kind of a, 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 a raving MAGA, pro-Trump, Christian nationalist leaning publication. Um, and, uh, you know, it really has become really, really, you know, quite, uh, quite horrible. Anyway, uh, they published on June 6th an article uh, about Dolly Parton. Um, and, um, you know, and, and it attacks Dolly Parton, which generally I don't think is a good idea. But anyway, um, why are they attacking Dolly Parton? The problem with Dolly Parton is that she uses her Christianity to express love towards everybody. I mean, she, she doesn't judge she claims one shouldn't judge. She's just a simple person. And she expresses love towards all people, all kinds of people. And this, the Federalist, I mean, I, I, you know, you could argue us objectors find this offensive. But, but in terms of, uh, in terms of the, uh, the Federalist, what is offensive in this is the fact that in doing so, Dolly Parton is not judging all those gay people. That is really, really horrible, right? So she writes, but Parton's version of love, which includes condoning immoral sexual behavior, is unaligned with God's vision for humanity. Like so many secularized spiritual leaders, Parton equates love with agreement, but the two are not reciprocal. Love does not mean we must accept sinfulness as good to avoid hurting other, other, somebody's feelings. I, I agree with it. It's a reminder to be careful when looking to cultural Christians to light the way. <laughs> uh, she says, uh, you know, that, that uh, in the same week that Parton mentioned her upbringing in church, the Advocate, I guess a left-wing magazine, called her an LGBTQ plus icon. And her rhinestone-studded flashy outfits, big hair, and infamous chest have inspired many a drag queen. That's not her fault, but she does seem to indulge it. <laughs> I mean, this is the American right. This is, this is, um, these are the people... Uh, that are now a representative of the American right. Uh, and, and this got a lot of cheering by, uh, by certain parts of the Twitter world. Uh, it got booed by a lot of people, including some conservatives, who said, Dolly Parton, really? You don't have anybody better to go after? Uh, but uh, yes, this is the Federalist. Uh, and uh, it, is, it has become a... Uh, uh, Christian nationalist, Trumpist, MAGA rag, uh, and uh, it is uh, it is a, a really horrible publication. But this is exactly the American right. This is exactly what the American right is becoming. This is what the American right's intellectual leadership is moving it towards. Uh, this is exactly what it actually represents. Uh, it, it, it is uh, the American right today is motivated by one thing and one thing more than anything else, and that is hate. And uh, the hatred is primarily towards immigration, immigrants, but, you know, throw in LGBTQ, oh, drag queens. God, do they hate drag queens. Drag queens are the real enemy of civilization. Uh, they are the real threat to civilization. You should watch that MASH episode where they, where they do a, a drag performance at the... At the at the base. Anyway, uh, it, it really is um, scary. The only thing that animates the right today are the cultural issues. The only thing that animate the rights today are these uh, things that have to do with, uh, with um, you know, sexual orientation and immigration. And immigration. That is what unites the right. It's what unites the right. Um, and... Um, 
uh, you know, the, 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 they're offended by, by drag queens. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty sad and pathetic. What can I say? This is what you're scared of. This is what's going to destroy the culture. God, um, you know, what have we come to? What have we come to? All right, but I guess Scott is afraid, so maybe, maybe, maybe there's something to it. Or maybe we, we want more. We want Scott to be afraid. This is good. 